What is up everybody? What is this show called again? Quarantine Reviews. We have been watching a lot of reality shows. It's... it's taken a toll on me. Today I thought we'd watch a new cartoon series from the director of Adventure Time called Midnight Gospel. Full disclosure, I am not really a huge fan of Adventure Time. What I saw was decent enough, it just didn't really grab me. But I hear this is a little bit more cerebral. I'm interested in checking it out, I'm always up for some... I'm up for whatever. I'm down for whatever. I'm down to ride in the review game. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's get to it. Midnight Gospel. Episode 1. Go! Oh, I'm not even plugged in. God damn it. Good morning. It looks very much like Adventure Time. Which simulated universe will you enter today? Hmm. You picked Glasses Man. This sim has a 23 charisma rating. Merging with Simulator in 3, 2, Wow. Ew, what was that? What did he just go inside of? <laughs> he just uh, went right in there. I'm loving the music so far. <laughs> oh no, glasses man. No, no, no. Please, please don't be dead. I'm sorry. Please don't be dead. You little glasses. I'll fix your glasses. <laughs> I'm the president. Whoa. Cool. Interesting Did writing. I record you for my... Um... Vidcast, Datacast. He's a YouTuber, just like me. Sure. He got an exclusive okay, with the president? That's awesome. What about the marijuana protesters? Those assholes? Yeah. First of all, people don't understand my point of view. Oh, tell me about it. Jeez. They think somehow I'm anti-pot or anti-legalization. Right. I'm not actually pro either. Pro <clears throat> human liberty. I'm pro the American system. I'm pro letting the people determine their laws. Right. I, I don't think this is... Somebody press, press my face in the mirror and said, is it going to be good or bad? I think it might end up being kind of not so good for people, but so I'll deal with it. These are the kind of politicians we need. Okay. We need someone who can accept the limitations of his own mind. The policy is confusing. The effects of sweeping actions are unclear. I would vote for this guy. We are three, three and a half minutes in, and I already have a favorite character. That's that's good. That's like that's uh that's good. That's good. I like it. I read a recent study that said medical marijuana was associated with close to 30% yeah. fewer deaths. It's, it's actually, it's actually more data has come in since that. <laughs> uh, that was a great joke ruined by bad internet. What's the data? The data is, if there's a lot of, if there's available recreational pot, opiate use is way down. Oh, so just it simple, is helping. Simple. Just I know, simple. I saw that too and I thought, oh, this this could be the answer. I would much. <laughs> how did this guy get elected into office? Taking that because when patients die of drug use, that's how they die today. B, perpetuates their pain and their, and their, they're uh, they're they're disabled by it. Yeah. They're disabled by it, but some people work just fine. Well, one f facet of marijuana that doesn't exist in their kids is that <laughs> if you overdose on marijuana. Uh, Hello. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. I love how the. Thank you, okay, Mr. stop, President. stop. I love how there's like this heavy political discussion while we see zombies get blasted in the brains. That is nice. That is nice. I don't know. It's heartwarming. Let's continue. You don't mind. die. You, you don't, don't die. die, but you are dragged through your own personal neurosis. And yeah. People say, I feel paranoid. Yeah. And usually what they mean is the marijuana is showing all these parts of myself that I don't necessarily want to deal with right now. Mm. And that can create a lot of positive change for people. <laughs> now, not all the time. A lot of times I definitely have been paranoid and the things I've worried about are ridiculous and absurd. And when I sober up, it's I recognize that. But a lot of times some of this stuff... I'm shown uh, on a on a heavy dose of marijuana. I come out of that knowing, man, I've got to work on this. I need. Why am I not exercising? I need to exercise. This is improvised. Like, this, is this is great. Why this is the death combo. combo? Yeah, it is. So I did it, and I remember one I was, of the death combos. One, the dialogue it feels really natural, which is nice. It feels almost improvised, which is kind of cool. One of the death combos. Out there. There's no such thing as a good drug and a bad drug. There's the, there's this chemical that's neither good nor bad. It just exists out there, and then it's the relationship that humans have with the substance mm -hmm. that is the issue, so and smart. what our individual biology is, and what it triggers, and whatnot. That's pretty much the same way that I play pool. Yo, thank you, sir. Not because Valium's good or bad, because the what? circumstance what? and the what? relationship. What's that? Uh, what is up with that? Goes down the wrong tube, what? gets into your lungs, and all septic. You go into shock, and you die in about uh, thirty minutes, 50, oh, 60 minutes. It can happen fast. My. God. Uh, a little heavy. <laughs> this is not a kid's cartoon. Good luck, sir. It's been a privilege to serve her to you. And Oops. One of my favorite statements is, you know, health is about 
accepting and perceiving and dealing with reality on reality's terms. Mm. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Why are we even running from them? They're pretty slow. I know. Yeah, look, we could just stand. Look, let's just stand still. Let's, do, let's come get me. Come on, zombies. Right here. <laughs> Meta zombie humor. Oh, no. <laughs> so then I asked the question. So how do we get there? Can't get away from it. In a way that, uh, why'd it go black and white? Right now, I feel like there's so many de little details uh, that I'm missing. Because things go by so quickly. And also I'm stupid. Is there a connection between the discussion about drug use and the zombies? Or are the zombies just there for entertainment? Something to look at? I don't see a connection yet. Am I thinking too much? Yes. Always. When I was much younger, I was just an angry person. So huh. I would like, I can remember like my printer didn't work one day and I remember that is screaming alone in my apartment. <laughs> breaking my printer in, in just a rage. Yeah, that's what you do with printers. Printers I'm suck. Sure. What is happening? It's hard to keep track of. That was the worst rescue. Flower inside of me. And then when it's there, what was that? As though you're sitting in a forest and you're getting to watch a rare animal walking out and the clearing. And instead of, you know, as most of us do when anger comes in, we react to it. We go into reactivity mode, which is like maybe you would stop meditating and follow the sweetness down, down, is she, down. Is she in labor? <laughs> Yeah, she's like, <laughs> okay, okay, all right, okay. Hey, you all right? Need anything? You try to move on to the next activity yeah. when some kind of emotional... I'm a little bit... You're always in a state of kind of turn <clears throat> on the thing. Overwhelmed. What happens if we don't turn our backs? What? And zoom in on the thing. I feel like this is subliminal messaging. Fractal, and it's really an interesting practice. Just... All right. It's almost hypnotic, the way they're droning on about these things. While you're focused on other things, like the zombie attacks. Why did he come to this planet? They are also people like you that, you know, you say mindfulness, that's a massive field these days. Oh what my god, a moment of, a big part of the silence. You're talking about the Sangha yes. until you get to the and thing. your awareness of awareness. That's it. Yeah. And then you become pure awareness, yeah. including our body is a kind of phen 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 I can't say it. Phenomenological. Phenomenological nice. field of... of Phenomena, a field of phenomena being encapsulated within no. this consciousness. And so Did you get bit? the idea that I am alone no. or the idea that I am an individual is actually Glasses interesting enough. You're already not. It's I got trying to listen to this guy's it's philosophical ranting, so it's hard because Glasses is guy. <laughs> okay, should we listen to that again? Yeah, we should. Yes. Until you get to the yes. thing. Your awareness of awareness. That's right. Yeah. Awareness, awareness of awareness. awareness. That's what, I'm, that's what that I do. Is what phen 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 phenomenological. I can't say it. Phenomenological. Phenomenological. It. Encapsulated within this consciousness, and so the, the idea that I am alone, or the idea that I am an individual, is actually, interestingly enough, you're already not. It's false. It's it's a distortion. Because you're the thing and the observer simultaneously meeting together, and that's what creates the illusion of self. I mean, if the universe was a dolphin, then wow. basically our bodies would be a, a fishing net. No. Oh, well, he's it's just an avatar anyway. Fun game, fun game. Whoa. This feels really good. Oh yeah, oh my god. I'm in love with it, I'm in love with it. Yeah, <laughs> it uh, kind of sounds like the zombies okay. are- The zombos are singing. This is like a, uh, like Bird Box. Where it's euphoric to get infected or whatever. Once we were blind, but now we can see. Feels good to be a zombie. Now I see there's nothing to get in and nothing to get out of. What a beautiful song. Yay! Reunion! Ew. No. No! You took away their euphoria. Their bliss. What? <laughs> like that was a thing? <laughs> there's no such thing as a bad drug. It's the circumstances. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't like that thing. Whatever that is. No thanks. You can keep it. Did you see that? Guts ripped out. And yet, here I am. Classic YouTuber. Thumbnail. For listening to mid Title. I died from a zombie bite. And to my one subscriber, Hernock Jensen, I live for you. You're the reason I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face. Yeah, I got more so subscribers than you. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was an experience.
Uh, Alright, first impression review. Oh, Titmouse. Wow, that was a lot to take in. Um, first of all, I have very mixed feelings about the style of dialogue. I think it comes across as very natural, and also a lot more interesting than most, you know, normal scripted dialogue. It got a little bit much at times, it's like, alright, it's a lot of talking. Most of it is just jibber-jabber. <laughs> philosophical jibber jabber it sounds like high people talk i feel the same way about the visuals where it's like amazing and then sometimes it's just too much like this is a lot to take in visually i mean that was a lot to take in basically on all levels through all sensory organs except for smell touch because i was touching my uh, okay let's wrap this up <laughs> I enjoyed it. I would watch more episodes. I'm sure later it'll occur to me what the connection was between zombies and the conversation they were having. I'm not really sure if there was a larger point they were trying to make. I feel like right as I stop recording, I'm gonna get it. As soon as I stop recording, I'm gonna get it. Eh. You gotta meet reality as it is. Me being stupid. There's no such thing as a bad drug. It's the circumstances.